coming to the MDHA conference motivated me. Like, I'm seeing the reason why I'm working so hard. You know what I mean? Like, it pushes me. That's Last year, I came here and I felt motivated too, which is why I dragged myself here. Um, I'm coming back from the convention. Well, it's not a con well, it was a conference, MDHA conference, and it was all the motivation I needed to push through. All right, let's do this. Let me talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys. Like I'm feeling so enthusiastic right now. Can you see the enthusiasm on my face? I'm like so happy. Um, I've been feeling pretty down lately. I I've been feeling like this basically. So as you can tell, like I, I sort of felt like I wasn't gonna make it this semester. The past, it's Friday. Friday, September eighth was my first lab, and I like screwed up. I didn't review anything. I just felt like I got this, and don't do this to yourself, especially after three months of not doing anything. Cause I was on vacation, you know. We had um. So we had we didn't have any classes over the summer so I know there are some programs out there that have classes over the summer you guys won't take breaks but we had three months off so three months without practice and I delusionally thought that I got this but I didn't so today is Saturday September 16 on Friday September 8th which was the first lab I screwed up and I was feeling pretty depressed like this throughout this whole week I'm like I'm not gonna make it but I'm gonna persist though the thing is I never gave up even if I felt like I was not going to make it you know what I mean I even thought like if I'm not gonna make it I'm gonna move out I'm gonna move out to my parents house I'm, I have to leave my dad's house because it's not a it's not a good environment for me um i wanted i've been wanting to leave and that was the goal at the end of the school year i was like whether i make it or not i'm leaving i'm not staying there one more day you know you know what i mean it's not a good environment for me so i was thinking to myself i had all these toxic to toxic thoughts that i'm not gonna make it um that it, this is hard like i need some motivation coming to the MDHA conference motivated me like I'm seeing the reason why I'm working so hard you know what I mean like it pushes me that's last year I came here and I felt motivated too which is why I dragged myself here even like I didn't even like I left clinic last night at 8 at 6 p.m. went to my house and then at 12 a.m. Like, so literally 11.15 p.m. I was driving to work. And from work, I came to the MDHA conference. Um, I'm glad I did it because this is, this is all I needed to just keep pushing myself. Like, I was down. I've been, I've been working hard, but I've been feeling down. So, I, you know, if you're working hard, but you're feeling down, you're not being as effective as if, if you were, you know, just you are on your A game. You, you are confident working. So now I feel like, like I got this, like why would, why won't I be a hygienist next year? I will definitely be a hygienist next year. I, like I got a goodie bag, let me show you. That's my goodie bag, Gentle Dental. Um, and I got a few free items. I got a free toothpaste. I got a free, um, this is my toothpaste and I love Crest. Crest with Colgate. I'm gonna say that I experienced some sloughing of my tissue, but with, you know, with this, that was not an issue. Um, I got this for free. I don't even know what the hell this is. It's a retractor, but I guess it could. I'll, I'll try it on my nephew. 
Um, what else? Um, I also got this. I think it's sodium fluoride. That's definitely, yeah, sodium fluoride. So overall, it was an overall positive experience. I always lo love coming to these conferences or come to the, like, you know, whatever your school has going on, just go to it. It will be a reminder of why you're, you know, you're in this struggle. It will help you tremendously. Like right now, my mental, my, my mentality is completely different from what it was two days ago. Because two days ago, I was just feeling so down on myself. I'm like, I'm not going to make it. But at the same time, I was just like, I'm not going to make it, but I'm not giving up. Like, I'm going to move to um, New York or Pennsylvania, and I'm going to apply to, you know, because I already have this all, all this dental hygiene knowledge, and I love dental hygiene. Why should I give up now? I'm not going to give up now and, like, spend the next, you know, 80 years of my life being, you know, poor. No, I have all this knowledge. I'm going to, if I didn't do well like you know what I mean I don't want to say that but that's exactly how I was feeling if I didn't you know make it I'm gonna apply to somewhere else and I'm gonna make it there you know I'm gonna keep pushing like I'm not giving up this is what I want um so yeah I also got a professional free headshot done so that that has been emailed to me I'm gonna show you guys the picture um personally I don't feel like I love it I wasn't ready for it but it is what it is. I did it. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with coming here. I don't feel like it was too a waste of time. It really wasn't because it motivated me, definitely. And I didn't even know I had to come here until, like, yesterday. We were cleaning up the clinic after our patients and found out, yeah, the professional um, day is tomorrow. And I was like, great, because I had asked to work the overnight shift, so now I can just come here. All right, so I'm going to run some errands and talk to you guys later. Uh, I'm going to keep updating you guys on what I'm doing, but I'm not going to be uploading every day. I'm just going to save the videos and I'll upload it like in December or something because I have to be in dental hygiene school. Dental hygiene school requires all of my attention right now. So if you guys are seeing this um, video in December, or January that's why but this was recorded on September 16 2017 bye guys